Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. Today is a little bonus video because I ran a big sale in my closet so I thought it was worth kind of noting it in the books. So as of November 6th, I had only sold two items on Poshmark. I average maybe about $100 a day, $125 a day on Poshmark, typically about $4,000 to $5,000 at the end of the month. But this month, despite listing a lot of stuff, I sold one $50 item on November 1st and then a $22 item on November 5th, nothing else. In addition to that, I was away for the weekend. My daughter had her senior dance showcase and we went to visit my son, Anthony, in New Jersey. So when I was on my way home, I knew I needed to do something kind of drastic. So I decided to send out 50% offers off anything in my closet for 100 days or more using the Posher VA app. I think this was probably the most successful sale I've ever run and sometimes it's just the alignment of the stars. Sometimes it's just very random. It kind of spanned over the course of three days because I think it really jump-started the algorithm. I'm at $1,346 in sales, which totally blows my mind. At the end of the video, I'll be sure to scroll every single one of the sales on Poshmark that I made over the course of three days. In today's Ship and Shop video, I'm going to share with you some of the sales from a 40% off sale that I ran last week. I really feel like on Poshmark lately, unless I'm running a sale, I'm not selling a lot of stuff. When I expressed last week on Instagram that Poshmark was doing horribly, some people were saying, oh, I'm just the opposite. eBay's doing horribly and Poshmark Poshmark is popping off. It's really just random. So I'm just sharing with you my little sliver of experience. We'll pull some sales. We're going to do some thrifting at Savers. And then at the end of the video, I am going to actually show you how I prepare or let you know how I prepare for a Whatnot show. Whatnot is today's sponsor. And I thought instead of doing a traditional mention, I would just share with you what I do to get prepped for my Whatnot show. If you use my link, you'll actually get $15 off your first purchase. And a lot of my sales on Whatnot not are between 10 and $20. So you'll probably be able to pick up something for free and then give the app a try. Let's go downstairs and pull some sales. All right, it's been a while since I've done a ship and shop. This is a Free People blouse. Um, I had, I can't remember the original listing, but I sent out offers on anything that had been in my closet for over 100 days that wasn't new with tag for 40% off with $5.95 shipping on Poshmark. So this sold for $19 with discounted shipping. Next up is my favorite Madewell jean. Um, I've sold three of this style in the past um, probably month, and it's the curvy perfect fit. Uh, the first pair sold full, full asking for $68. The second sold for $45, and I got a $35 offer on this last pair, and they had a little bit of a flaw, um, just a little mark, and I only paid like $4, so I accepted the offer. Hold on. What are you doing, young man? What do you think, Lumpy? Do you like these jeans? Tina's so good. She made a little bit of a note here because I had the same jeans in the same size. One had a tiny mark, so she noted that here. So $35. I love that jean. I can't wait to find it again. Next up is an item that I grabbed when I was decluttering my journaling supplies. I have a couple of these pen sets. This is the Archer and Olive Acrylograph. You have to like press down on the tip of the pen and then the, the ink fills in um, and they're really beautiful, but I have quite a few sets. This ultimately was a loss, I believe, because it sold for $27. This came in on an offer and I think I paid 30, but I just have so many sets and it wasn't doing me any good here. So that's moving on. Next up is a Crew Cuts blazer that is a, is quite a bolo i find sometimes these beautiful blazers for kids sell for really good money because they retail for a lot oh this is a little wrinkly this sold for forty dollars and that was on forty percent discount because i believe i sold one of these i don't know in the sixty to eighty dollar range full price so I think I priced this one high, but when when it went down to 40%, it sold. So $40 on a kid's blazer. So next up is this really pretty um, sweater. You can't tell how cute it is, but it's from Athleta. It's a merino wool sweater, and the sleeves have contrasting black. Um, so like, I want to say like from just past the elbow. And I own this, and I love it so much. And so when I found it out in the wild, I had to get a second one. Mine, of course, has like a moth hole in the neck, but I still wear it all the time. Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, and I am just back from a trip to New York and Penn State. 
So I had to hit the ground running. Sales were dismal on Poshmark. So I offered 50% off anything that was pre-owned in my closet for 100 days, 50% off with $5.95 shipping. And these are some of the results. So these Berkey sold for $22, I believe. This belt sold for $14. This is a vintage leather belt with these little heart studs. This vintage coat, which I'm always so happy when a bulky coat goes away. Um, it's really pretty. It is a Terry Lewis, size large. This sold for $35. Super happy about that. This Ralph Lauren skirt received so much attention on eBay and Poshmark. In the end, the half-off price was $22. It's a brown maxi skirt with flowers. Um, so that's gone. This Lucky Brand blouse, I think, sold for $12. These little overalls that I picked up at the bins, $12. This Peruvian Connection sweater, the half off price was $25. This sold. This was a full price sale. A lot of attention on this um, hat from the bins. And the brand is called French Knot. I almost didn't get it because, you know, the, the little puffy up here looked like it had been washed or something like that. Anyways, we disclosed everything. It's really pretty. Sold for $22. This was a really fun sale. This is a Prada dress that I got at that $5 boutique. It did not have any markings of Prada except for the fabric has like one or two sections where the word Prada is written right into the silk. This was a runway collection piece. I was hoping for more. It's been $250 in my closet forever. Sold for $125. I'm not sad. This Penn State football sweatshirt was Angelina's. It's so cute. I don't know why she's not wearing that this year. Anyways, this was a $19 sale. This, I believe, is from Barstool Sports sweatshirt. Uh, I am unwell. Anyways, this sold for... I can't remember what that sold for. I'll put the price up on the screen. This was an eBay sale. I was with Jay. We were in New York and I had this listed for $175. It's an older model that I picked up at a yard sale years ago and it was in our death pile. We finally listed it. $175 was, was a good price to start it at. Um, I got a $110 offer. I wanted to counter so bad. And Jay's like, if you counter, I'm going to be mad at you. Just accept it. Get this stuff out of the house. I'm like, all right, Jay, I accept. So I only paid $3. So that, this is what I call a win-win. Um, so $110 eBay. Thank God for eBay. I had a lot of eBay sales. We also have an American Girl little velour tracksuit that sold on eBay for $17. Some Jimmy Choo's that sold for $62 that Tina's grabbing. And Lumpy Wood. Oh my gosh, you are the funniest. <laughs> Do you like being in the bag? Is that comfy for you? Oh my gosh, this is like heaven for my dog in a thrift bag with all of the thrift smells surrounding you. Lumpy, wait until Auntie Tina sees you. Wait until she comes upstairs and sees you. <laughs> All right, I thought it would be really fun to look in my analytics and see which brands and subcategories are selling best for me. So I looked on Vendu. It looks like American Girl, no surprise, I'm not really gonna count that, is my top selling brand, followed by Free People, Madewell, and Lululemon. Categories were shirts and tops, no surprise there. Sweaters were next, and then dresses. Number three was dresses, and that really surprised me. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Savers. I have a coupon. We're gonna see what we can find within those categories that seem to do well for me now that we're in quarter four. Let's see how we can do. Okay, I found a few contenders. This cat sweatshirt I think would be great on um, a live show. This was new with tags from TJ Maxx. It is a jumpsuit from Levi's. I need to check the comps, but I recently sold the jumpsuit that did really well. Uh, this I'm super excited about because it is black label Ralph Lauren. Look at this, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I need to look it over really well. This I'm leaving behind, it's Jay McLaughlin. Uh, I don't do great with that brand, so I'm gonna grab these. Okay, this is a brand I was looking for. Madewell, only $8.49. Uh, the toes look like they're in good shape. I just recently sold a pair of these loafers. Check them both out. Yeah, I'm gonna take these. They just put some new shoes out. These Michael Kors, $15. Always marked up. 
think I might get this for my niece for Christmas. Put some money in there. I think that would be really cute. Ten bucks. I think she'd like that. I really like this on style, but it's ten ninety nine and it's forever twenty one. Might pick that up for like five bucks for loud sales. These are cute. I typically don't find page jeans um, in a style that I like, and these are only $8.49, and there are 31 comps are really good, so we're grabbing that too, even though it's not on my list. This is a blouse that I bought. It's Susan Graver, which I wouldn't typically pick this up, but it kind of reminds me of the Chico's line that you can travel with. Um, it's just this really carefree material. I liked the gold buttons. It's longer in length. I purchased this for myself. It was $12.49 and then I got 20% off. I should explain that on this trip to Savers, this was a quickie. I spent $69.66 and I got nine items. I went here, as I mentioned earlier, with the intention of getting items in the categories that sell well for me. And I had received a message from Savers. There was a 30% off sale on long sleeve shirts, active wear shirts, like sweatshirts. So I was like, oh, this is great. This is some of the stuff I'll be looking for. And then I got there and I couldn't find the coupon. I shopped as I normally do. I ended up getting 20% off. And then when I was at the register, the guy who is always there at the register and so helpful and sweet was like, did you get your text message? And I said, is that how it came to me in a text message? That was the 30% off. I had kind of shifted my strategy because I couldn't find the coupon for 30% off tops and active wear. So then I just went for anything. I only had two items that fit in that category, so I didn't use the coupon and it's one time use only. Anyway, I got 20% off. That's a very long-winded way of sharing that with you. Let me start with some of the things that did fit into the categories, whether it was a brand that is selling well for me or a category um, that's selling well. We'll start with these loafers from Madewell. Um, I had my own comp on these. I sold these exact loafers. I don't know about the size, but they sold for $40. So these were $8.49 plus the 20% off. Um, I sold three pairs of Madewell loafers, one this exact style, and then two were in like um, a calf hair leopard animal print pattern. One sold for $27. The other one sold, I think, for $45. I looked at the comps quickly before I jumped on here. Um, so I'm happy about these. I think these are great classic um, shoes. They're in excellent condition. Just a tiny little bit of creasing right here. Okay, these are a size 10. It says it on the bottom, that little sticky I'm going to take off. So a little bit of a larger size. I always look at the toe area to make sure that there's no scuffing here. And these were in really great condition. Those will be going in my Poshmark closet. This is another category. Um, tops. Sweatshirts are considered tops. But I got this for whatnot. Cats sell on whatnot and graphics usually sell. And I just enjoy selling stuff like this on whatnot because it's fun. So whatnot is a live auction app that I am on. This is just a fun festive holiday sweatshirt that I can start at like three or $4 and see where it goes. It may not sell for a lot. Sometimes sweatshirts like this will surprise you if you have a couple cat people in your audience. I also got this cute NFL hat that is new without tag. I mean, it has this tag on it. It's the old school Patriots guy. And it's adjustable in the back, which I like. It's $3.99. The comps on these aren't tremendous, but I do like to have local stuff in my closet. So it is football season, so I figured 
I would bring some old school Patriots to my closet. I'll probably list this at 18 or $20 and see how it does. That could actually be a fun whatnot sale as well. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not any category. <laughs> I just grabbed that. I have two more items from categories. Um, and one is this black label Ralph Lauren dress, which is absolutely beautiful. Black label, I had this debate before. Either black is the highest or purple is the highest. I'll put on the screen if I know, or you can leave in the comments. But this is black label. I always get confused between the two. I think it's purple, <laughs> I don't know. I love this little toggle clasp. The hardware on here is just gorgeous. And it's got patent leather trim. I think this is beautiful for the holidays. If anybody's going out for New Year's Eve, this would be great. It is a small size. Um, it looks like it is a size two. And the other thing is I couldn't find the fabric content and it does definitely feel like wool. Ralph Lauren Black Label is something that I used to send off to the Real Real, but I don't I don't really do that anymore. I don't work with the Real Real quite as much. The way that I use the Real Real now and previously is using it for my own use. So I would send stuff in that I wasn't too attached to that probably wouldn't sell well in my closet that I wouldn't mind taking a lower amount on. And then whatever I get, I just play with it and buy myself like handbags and pens because I'm weird. Okay, this is a top. So from one of my best-selling categories tops was number one this is just a blouse and I wore this in my last video I think I wore it in my thrift cast video from last week how pretty are these sleeves I loved this blouse very pretty and this is more of what I would consider a boutique brand it's mustard seed it is a size small which is funny because I it's very oversized because I wore it and I had I had space in it. You could probably get away with this if you were a medium or a large as well because I did think it ran large, um, but I absolutely love the sleeves on this. This was more of a style-based pickup. I could sell this on Whatnot. Um, I think I'll try it on Poshmark and then go from there, but I really do love the sleeves on this. This would probably be like a $20 sale, maybe $25. I have to look at comps. Um, so that is it for items from categories. The other two things that I got were jeans and overalls. So the jeans that I picked up, as I showed in the thrift with me, are these page jeans. They're so nice. They are a high rise Sarah straight. I can't tell you the last time I picked up page jeans, but these were priced at $8.99, which is a little high. Um, plus I had the 20% off. The comps on these were really good and I really did just love the style of them. They weren't a skinny leg, they were straight. I really loved that they were high rise. The denim was really great. I typically find page jeans that are, I don't know, I would say from like 2010 or earlier. I always feel like they're an older style, but this particular style does very well and they're a size 31. So I think these are going to to do well, hoping to get more than $40 for them. So I'll probably list them around 50 and we'll see how it goes. I would say that the find of the day, hands down, was this new with tag Levi's utility jumpsuit. I'm seeing it on Mercari. Somebody has it listed for $89. The cargo jumpsuit overalls cream. I don't know why people have these listed for $100 because the MSRP is $79. So I don't know if they're sold out online. This is so cool. The price tag on this was $12.49 with 20% off. I paid about $10. It was at TJ Maxx for $19.99. I always remove the TJ Maxx tag if the brand tag is on the item when I sell it. This brand tag is $79.50. I'm probably gonna list it right at the MSRP because it looks like the comps are really good, hoping to get about $60 for this jumpsuit. Just a really quick run to savers. I've been noticing that they've been sending out more 30% off coupons. So next time I will check both my email and my text message before text messages before I go into the store because it really impacts the way that I shop. And so I got a little thrown off on this day because I couldn't find that 30% off coupon and then they told me about it at the register. And by then it was too late. It's been a couple days and I just wanna share with you quickly my thought process for how I set up for my whatnot shows. This is what works for me. You might have some more creative ideas. This is just how I do it. And I'm sure I will continue to evolve. One of the things that I think I've seen as a trend on whatnot is that a lot of people are selling liquidation palettes and things are new with tag. This is a strategy that I don't really plan to pursue. I'm not a liquidation 
motivation buyer or seller. Part of the thrill and joy of what I get with my career is actually the hunt of going out and finding stuff. The part that I struggle with, as many of you know, is mounds of inventory and keeping everything organized on the operations side of it. So for me to get hundreds and hundreds of pieces in a palette, I think I would be very overwhelmed. However, I do like to go out and cherry pick certain things that I can find retail arbitrage to bring to the table for some of my whatnot shows because I think that some people may be expecting newer items. I like to give a really nice mix in my shows, so I will definitely have items that I just wanna get rid of, and if they don't sell on whatnot for like seven or eight dollars, I'm probably gonna donate them. That's a small portion of what I'm selling on whatnot. There are items that I'm purchasing strictly on style, like the cat sweatshirt. I just think that's a fun item for a live audience. I do a lot of my graphic tees and graphic sweatshirts on whatnot because I think they're just fun and they appeal to people, um, sometimes in a nostalgic way. For example, I call my Sunday show The Breakfast Club. I'm not someone who wants to do live shows late at night, so I decided I would just embrace the morning. So mine is called The Breakfast Club and I typically do my shows only on Sundays. I like to have an item from the breakfast club that I either auction off or do as part of my giveaways in every show. So this week I have this great breakfast club sweatshirt. I had bought a bunch of these when I was doing shows last year and they sold out and they sold great. So I had to hunt this down. This looks like it's new without tag. It's a size small. It's in great condition. So typically with my breakfast club merch, I will do it either as a giveaway at the start of the show or at the end of the show if it's something big, or I will do it as my first auction item. This week I plan to do this as my first auction item. And I usually start my auctions at a dollar if it's something that's defective and I just want to get rid of it. $3 if it's a piece that I think will sell above $12 and then I'll at least be doubling my money. If it's retail arbitrage, I will start it at my cost because you definitely don't want to lose money on these auctions. Sometimes I'll take chances and so far they have I've done okay with them. Um, this is a Kate Spade bag that I just picked up yesterday at Savers. This actually cost me $34. But what I call these are like leader items. I like to have a few things in my show that is going to attract people to the show. So even if I don't make a huge profit, it's something that creates excitement around my show. I bought this Kate Spade bag, which is absolutely stunning. It's in beautiful condition. It's this like elephant gray patent leather and just gorgeous for the holidays. Um, I also picked up this L.L. Bean bag. This happened to be new with tag and I love that it had the long straps. So this is something that I didn't pay a ton of money for, but it is new with tag and it's a brand that I really love to sell. It's got the chocolate brown straps and I love that you can wear it as a shoulder bag. I also got this new without tags Calvin Klein bag in this taupey pebbled leather. It's absolutely stunning. I paid less for this than I did for this bag, but I don't anticipate that these two items will be huge profit, but I know they're gonna generate a lot of excitement. I think it's pretty important to advertise for your show. You can advertise right within Whatnot. So they have stories just like on Instagram. You can share it to your stories so that people who are on the app all the time are seeing what you're selling. I really find that my Whatnot community is its own little entity separate from my Poshmark and YouTube and Instagram community. There's always overlap for people that will go to all of the places, but I do find that it is a different group of buyers over on Whatnot. This is a bag you may have seen last week. I picked this up for a pretty good price. This is also new. I think it was $17 and then I had like 20 or 30% off. In my last show, I had some new with tag items from the J. Crew factory outlet. I found some shackets that were highly desirable. They were sold out online and I paid about $15 for each of them and they sold between $30 and $40 roughly. So I did okay on them. Not a huge profit, but I think people who came to the show appreciated that I had some new stuff. But I do try to have a good time with my audience and I hope they have fun at my shows. Let's turn the camera around. I'm actually gonna show you my little setup over here. Then we'll say goodbye and I'll show you all my sales from the big 50% off sale. Okay, this might not be like <laughs> the prettiest view, but this just gives you an idea of how I work my show. I got this um, double rod hanging unit from Amazon a couple of years ago. The way I do things is I prep things on the bottom. Once I load them into my show, I put them on the top rack. Then when I run my show, I don't really show the rack. I set up my camera about here 
and you know, there's I'm kind of standing right in that area. And I pull things over, I put them in order. I tend to take photographs of my items, include measurements, just one picture, white background. I try to keep it simple, but I do like to preload my shows because then that way people can see what I have in store for them. Once the item is weighed and loaded into the app, I put it up here. Then I will share an item, I'll hold it up, and then if it sells, I put it on the bottom rack, and then I know that that's an item that I need to ship. I don't always get to all of the items in my show depending on how long it goes. So the things that are up on the top rack I know didn't sell, and then I can clone them and then they just go to the next show automatically, or if it's something that I started at a dollar that was defective and nobody wanted it, I'll pull it at that time and donate it. I just picked this up yesterday. It's like a Disney Prince sweatshirt, um, but sometimes I like to get Disney stuff and graphics. Like I said, this is says, Oh My Disney. This is what I would consider a really good item for the show. This is the brand Fat Face. This is a beautiful sweater. Their retail is pretty expensive. Hey, Lumpy. Um, but I had 20% off $4.49. So this cost only about three dollars and change i bought this muppets shirt on whatnot and i think it's really cool and then yesterday when i was out thrifting i found pajama pants so i thought these were really fun they were about three dollars so i'm gonna load those into the show as well one cool thing about shipping now on whatnot is up to five pounds worth of merchandise caps out at like eight dollars and change maybe it's like 870 or something like that which is great for the buyer and the seller because you can sell a couple items a lot of people will buy things in bundles and they can get a few items and pay under nine dollars for shipping up to five pounds which i think is just awesome one category that I didn't really touch on are just the bread and butter items that I like to sell on any platform. Things like Free People, Lululemon, Athleta. I picked up a Free People pullover yesterday and an Athleta jacket that are both adorable. They're in the wash right now. Those are both going into my whatnot show. So I personally like to do a really nice mix. You can also do very curated shows. I've done Disney shows before. I've done vintage shows before. So anything can work if you work at it. It does take time to build up your audience, but it's a lot of fun. If you click the link in my description, and sign up for whatnot, you'll get that $15 credit on any show, not just mine. There are so many shows. I like to jump into the luxury handbag shows. Sometimes I'll go into the new with tag items, see if I can get some Christmas shopping done, find some bargains that way. It's a really fun experience in a different way to do your shopping or your selling. Thanks so much to whatnot for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm going to roll all of the sales from my 50% off sale and I will see you in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll have another video out tomorrow for Slow Fashion Friday. This week, I am going after my mudroom. Wish me luck. It's going to be a very, very long 24 hours. Bye, everybody. Love you guys.